okay so once we are done with the textures for the overall model we'll go ahead and create a transparency for the area right here just this and a ladder as well so let's go ahead and create that let's go to photoshop let me enable the uv layer and click on it i'm going to go to my transparency group and i'm going to create a new layer i'll call that transparency I'll click on my uv and i'm going to use the magic one and i'm going to click right here okay and i'm going to let me expand the selection go to select modify expand by one pixel should be fine okay and i'm going to fill with white so make sure this is completely white okay and uh, that will be alt um backspace oops i have to be on my transparency layer oh backspace alt backspace Control D and I'm going to save it and go see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to move that one just a little bit. Now let me go save it. Oops, it was supposed to be the other way. it just a little bit uh, thicker more thick I'm gonna fill that with white select this area right here I'm going to press ctrl J to duplicate my layer press V for my move tool and I'm just going to move that down a bit I'm going to scale it ctrl T scale that okay and actually I have to rotate it as well save it let me delete the edges just come off that area All right I'm going to duplicate that one control J now control T and flip vertical Okay, now I'll just move that one up. And now basically all I have to do, I'm going to combine these two. All I have to do is duplicate those.
Let me save it and go see what it looks like. And that looks that looks fine. Now let's go ahead and do the ladder. And again, uh, this is going to be transparent. We're just going to be able to see whatever is white. But of course, it's not going to be white. I'm going to select that. I'm going to I'm going to merge all those layers. My transparency. And now let's go ahead and do the ladder. And there we have it, we have the ladder. Okay, so now that we made that, uh, we can use that to create a transparency. So let me merge those layers. So basically to create a transparency, we have to work under the channels of the image. So again, uh, everything that is white, under our channels it's going to be it's going to show up everything that is black is going to be transparent completely transparent so let's go ahead and create a uh, new channels which is going to be our alpha so we're creating an alpha channel so to get the transparency that we want first of all I'm going to for the layer that has all your uh, transparency that we created hold down control and click on the thumbnail here and that's basically going to select the area that we want so we come to our alpha and here we can make sure your uh, colors are black and white and all backspace actually control backspace to fill the color and as you can see this is going to show up but as, uh, to make sure that everything else shows up as well we have to make sure that everything else is white or else the whole thing is going to be transparent. I'm going to select this as well. And go to, to our channels, to our alpha, and control backspace. And this way we make sure that everything is going to show up. And again, whatever is black here is not going to show up. It's going to be completely uh, transparent and we can disable that because we don't really need it anymore so we don't want it to be white okay 
one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my levels maybe increase the contrast uh, between the lights and the darks just a little bit save it okay so basically that is the uh, complete texturing and again I probably um, overdid the whole uh, overlaying of textures so just don't go overboard I probably did in this case but, but it looks I think it looks fine it looks okay and again if we look at the bottom of it uh, there is some distortion that is because of the of the UVs but for something like this model that was intended to be a third person type of model where you're not even going to see the bottom of it even if you just look at it from the side you're not going to see the distortion which is mainly why I decided to just leave it that way and not fiddle with the UVs anymore but you can try to uh, fix that I think so totally you can you can possibly fix the the distortion that you see here and you can also use maybe a planar map just for the bottom part just so that you can get rid of that distortion okay so that's basically everything for the actual just the color texture of the model but of course we also want to create a normal map and a specular map so a normal map is going to create bumps uh, for we need some bumps for the uh, or indentation for the panels and maybe some bump for just for the texture itself so let's go ahead and create that first let's uh, finish up the whole texture here so as the final texture let me just increase the contrast just a little bit more so what we're going to do is save this image and I'll keep this image and save a separate copy just so that I can have the one that has all the layers so I'm going to uh, layer flatten image discard all hidden layers and if I go to my channels make sure my alpha is still there okay and I'm going to save as make sure you save as and I'm going to save this as the same diffuse but this is going to be a targa file as copy make sure it's a copy and alpha channels is also checked somewhere tower diffuse save it and something that's really important is that we have, you have to make sure that this is a 32-bit uh, targa file or else the alpha is not going to transfer okay so now we saved it and I'm still working on the PSD right now so I'm just going to undo so I can go back to my layers and back in Maya I can basically now apply the the one that has transparency so I'm just going to break these connections uh, hold down right click and go to break connection for transparency and color I click here so you can load the image and this time it's going to be a file because it is a targa file let's go here and as you can see once you apply it this is what you get and in Maya if you look at it here in Maya it looks like the whole object is kind of transparent but that's just the way Maya displays the the transparency in the viewport that's not how it's going to be once you're done uh, like if you do a render it should appear just fine so if we do a render real quick you can kind of see that you can actually see the transparency because this is Maya but with the normal map it should, it should look even better
Okay, let's go ahead and create a normal map. So for creating a normal map within Photoshop, first of all, what we need is you need a plugin. Uh, it's called um, it's a filter actually. It's going to be the Nvidia tool. Let me go to Google. I'm sure if you just Google for it, it should be there. If you Google NVIDIA normal map filter, it should be the first, uh, the first one. And just download a 64-bit or 32-bit. And the instructions are right here on how to install it. So that's pretty much what we need. So basically we want to convert the image to a grayscale image. So the easiest way to do that is just use a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And just take the saturation all the way down. Now we have a grayscale image. So now for the bumps, uh, basically what whatever is uh, white is going to be a bump. And whatever is black is just going to be like an indentation on the surface. So now we have to decide, and also the darkest, uh, the blackest, the or the whitest. So something is wider than this. As you can see, there's a gray and there's a gra gradient between the colors. So basically, the white, the lightest color is going to be a higher bump. So basically, I really want the panels to show. So I'm going to my panels area. is right here and I'm just going to increase the opacity of that because I really want the panels to show I'll probably just let it normal okay because I really want that to show as really as a panel probably even put it all the way at the top here and everything else underneath that I'm going to use our levels I'm just going to make it just a little bit lighter. Okay. And I think I have panels for this one as well. 